uh, well, okay, this thing's freaking awesome. So fallen dead trees or nurse logs play a really important role out here in forest ecosystems because they often provide the next generation of trees the ability to germinate above the competition on the forest floor, you know, on top of these logs, where they get more immediate access to light and resources to grow, which is exactly what's happened with this Sitka spruce tree here. And then as it grew, its roots wrapped around that fallen log to find their way into the soil for more reliable access to water and nutrients. And then over time, that nurse log here was broken down by saprotrophic fungi and insects, rotting away to leave this standing flying buttress style of roots here and it's huge you know you could crawl in there and have a nap easy now what's really awesome about this tree is the fact that it's not alone so if we look down the line here we can see one two three four sicka spruce trees and a little western hemlock all growing in a row with that same elevated root structure suggesting that all these trees here began life on top of that same fallen nurse log that has since decayed how friggin incredible is that you know if we get down the line here we can actually look through those roots to see the cavity left behind by that old log now these cavities in turn create all sorts of amazing habitat for bears, martens, squirrels, and other critters to den in, adding to the rich complexity within this forest that helps biodiversity here thrive. But this isn't just something we can easily recreate with new trees. Cool features like this only occur naturally as the forest grows and matures over long periods of time with bigger, older trees falling to create opportunity for new, younger trees, and it shows the importance of maintaining forest complexity for sustained ecological function and biological diversity so that life here can flourish. How incredible is that? What a beauty.